It's time for For the Culture, where we like to highlight D.C. area history, traditions, and also cultural issues that matter. But most importantly, we're talking to the people doing the work to push their communities forward. And this week, our Michael Quander, he talked to a D.C. native using his story to inspire others to never give up. My name is Willie Lefwich. He was the guy who appeared to have it all. A successful engineer, a lawyer, a man who thought he was doing everything right to live a long and healthy life. But then, reality hit. One day, uh, several years ago, they told me I had colon cancer. What was your reaction? I was lost. Leftwich was out of work for months. You see, he beat cancer, but his career as a lawyer faded away. It took me about three months to find out, to find something to do. I found pottery. Leftwich went from being an engineer and practicing law to creating pots, vases, and bowls. His art began selling for hundreds of dollars. He even got more experience, and his story appeared in newspapers. It seemed like things were going right again. At some point, you had a stroke. Yeah, oh, yeah. I had a stroke. Well, 13 years ago, on a day before Thanksgiving, I couldn't speak. Body was whole, my right side of body was, to me, locked. No doctors give, gave me no hope. Leftwich says doctors told him he'd be confined to his bed and a wheelchair for the rest of his life. It's up to me and God. He learned how to walk, speak, and even drive again. But what's even more meaningful, he was able to rediscover his passion for creating pottery. Leftwich has now turned that passion and drive into a way to help other stroke victims get some hope. And he's doing it through his foundation called Willie's Way. I think that what you have gone through in your resiliency and your dedication to life is going to help to inspire somebody else. You need to help one person. It's good. And that's how Mr. Willie Leftwich is doing it for the culture. I'm Michael Quander. Leftwich, Leftwich, excuse me, was one of four recipients of an award from Humanities at DC for his contributions to DC culture. You can see this extended interview with him and more about the other awardees on WSA9.com. We also want to hear from you. So if you know someone or a topic that we should feature in our For the Culture segment, simply hit Michael up on social media or shoot him an email. Let's get a check on the